Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter-inch nut driver, a pair of pliers, and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. This water inlet valve is located at the back of the refrigerator, mounted on a rear access panel. It acts as a primary water valve, supplying water to the water filter and to the secondary water inlet valve when energized. The main reason to replace the water inlet valve is if it leaks water and there is a puddle on the floor or there is no water at the ice maker or the water dispenser. So we're at the back of the fridge and we need to remove this rear access panel. There's a bunch of uh, quarter inch screws. I'm using the quarter inch nut driver and we're going to take them out. I'm going to pull up the uh, access panel and I'm going to put it down. Next I'm going to use the uh, pliers here and I'm going to turn this plug and I'm going to remove it. So now we can remove this uh, cover and flip it up and then there's a, here's the tags that tabs need to be pressed in. And we can remove the cover. So next I'm going to pull out this uh, water line from the valve. I'm going to press down on that blue collar, so release the tube. All right. Next I'm going to remove this power plug. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver, I'm going to pry it off. Next, I'm going to uh, bring this upright. Right, so I'm going to use this quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take out this uh, single quarter inch screw. All right, so we're going to take out this valve. And I'm going to move it down, pull it out, and down. And then we're going to lift it up again a little bit up and it comes out so you need to work out a little bit nothing is easy this is the old water inlet valve next to the new one if you don't have this part you can get it from appliancepartspros.com and now we're going to insert the new water inlet valve into this uh, cutout so they sand with the coil goes in first And I'm going to lift it up, and then I'm going to pull in this uh, bottom portion. And I'm going to put it down, and we're going to align these holes here. I'm going to use this uh, single quarter inch screw with a quarter inch nut driver, and I'm going to secure the water valve to the uh, access panel. All right, so let's put down that uh, panel with the valve and uh, we're going to I'm going to insert the tube into the valve. Push it all the way in. Next, I'm going to install this plastic cover. We got the steps that goes in. And the last thing I'm going to do with this water valve, I'm going to plug this in. So next I'm going to lift it up slightly here. Next I'm going to insert this plastic uh, piece here into this uh, cutout. We may need to use the pliers, same way that we use it to take it out. And straighten that metal. All right, so we're going to place that bottom in, inside, push it down, and 
align the holes and we're going to install screws to secure it. All right, so using a quarter inch nut driver, we're going to install the uh, screws. All right, next we need to connect this uh, water line to, the, to this uh, valve right there. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.